Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we are continuing on with the Duna launches and right now this would be number five, I believe. I ended up sending up the other solar panel portion that we have. If you not if you do not know what I'm talking about, Go back a few episodes, um, you should be able to see it, it's just the Duna truss for the station. So we got all our solar panel stuff taken care of for the most part. Most of the station parts are already launched, there's just some HAB modules, and I'm thinking of wrapping up a few other things, maybe adding on to it a little bit, but... I am not 100% certain, once again, with all my launches. Um, still waiting on a response uh, as to whether or not I should send another base. And if you would like to see another base or whatever, um, we're going to be sending a ground base, or a mobile base. So we're going to have a, a ground base that's already there. Uh, a base on Ike, which we already have there. Then we'll have a mobile base and possibly another base i i don't know it would basically be the same kind of design there wouldn't be anything too special i would maybe wow the night looks amazing uh i wish man if if my sky looked like this at night i would have a lot of fun with my telescope but uh, right now i haven't really been having a lot of fun with it so Oh god, that I, I don't know why that's a lander. That that's just no. Uh yeah, so most of the stuff you can see we have our orbit here all set up. I should probably start turning over a little bit more. I'll just kind of put it right there for now. Let's see. How are we looking on fuel? I knew that that tank ran out. Oh god. Um, yeah, everything's looking okay, the staging is okay, and, uh, we're kind of getting off track here, gotta bump it over a little bit more. So let's see, we have our, the dock com that we lost, or that we launched our last episode, there's our Duna base, the mobile Duna base, and both of the solar panel tr uh, pieces right there. So that's four, and now there's going to be five. Hopefully, I can kind of come up to a solution to remedy any further problems we might have. I think I may have miscounted or something along the lines, but I'm not 100% certain. We either got two modules that are free or three. I don't know. If there's three, we will definitely be sending at least another base. Or I might end up going all in and doing an asteroid capture and possibly some kind of asteroid base, which, you know, something really minimal, very minimalistic sti uh, size of a base, you know, something very small. Uh, something that we could attach to an asteroid. You know, it would be basically... Probably an all-in-one style base. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's still, you know, I, I really got to look at what we got and kind of come up with some kind of a decision. So th that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, so, I mean, 2,000 subscribers. I, I really didn't get to talk about this my last couple episodes. I mentioned it two episodes ago, but I still can't believe I'm at 2,000 subscribers, and it's probably going to keep growing and getting bigger, which would be even more amazing, and you know, I'll keep my fingers crossed with that, and I've always just been happy that people actually care enough to watch my videos, let alone you know, the stuff I talk about, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that facepalm. I, I have been accused of talking uh, or saying certain words like a million times in a row, and I probably cause a great bit of harm to some of you who probably facepalm a little bit here and there when I say certain things. And I probably have set, uh, given a lot of advice that probably otherwise... 
wasn't the best advice as far as playing this game, but, you know, I try my best to play. I This is my sandbox, so I don't really delve too much into any mods with this. I, I There's no mods, I should say, with this, and I really try my best to make sure that, you know, I do everything as legit as possible. I don't have, like, hyper-edit installed or anything like that, even though I was considering doing it for a while. Uh, there were certain things uh, you guys would know with the fuel bases and stuff like that. The launches for those just get monotonous and just drive me crazy because you're talking sometimes six launches or five launches of orange tanks, and it would just it just makes things easier if you can just slap them into orbit real quick and not even have to worry about it but you know overall I mean I haven't broken down that far just yet but you know you're talking six orange tank launches if even if every launch took exactly 20 minutes you're still looking at just a substantial amount of time to just do everything so it, it really just kind of comes down to the point where you're Sometimes about to pull your hair out, but I do it for you guys, so I really do enjoy playing this game. I love seeing what other people can create and, you know, what I can do. And just to blow people's minds when they see stuff that I've made and they realize that, number one, I'm not using any mods and it's all stock stuff in the game. And that, to me, just makes me happy, and I, I really do... It, just love to see the surprise with some people. It, it really is probably one of my most favorite parts about playing this game. And especially being able to show you guys, because I wouldn't even carry on the series without you. So, it, it would have ended a long time ago if I didn't see any possible benefit in any of this. Or enjoyment. So, I mean, this, this part that I launched here, there's really nothing incredibly special about it. Uh, there is a Coppola that will be attached in a spot, you know, I, I kind of want to keep the whole design of this base up in the air a little bit until we actually get there and I start putting all the pieces together. That way you guys can get a, you know, it, it'll be a little bit of a surprise for you. Let's see, get this up to 210, 27, that, that's good enough. So yeah, this is, you know, it's just basically a Coppola module, uh, we can't even go inside of it, yeah, I didn't even put a Kerbal in, not that big of a deal, it's another, it's got the uh, comms on there, I slapped on some solar panels and stuff like that, just for aesthetics, and the only problem I'm going to possibly have is that these lights are not configured 100% to, like, actually point directly at where I need them to point at, so I'm not even sure if those are gonna come out the way I want them to. And then these are just two RCS tanks that I'm bringing with me. There was a little bit of a lack of RCS when we were there. I can't really remember how much, but yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty much happy with how things have been going. I'm really happy that everyone is enjoying my channel and enjoying all my stuff, and uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to kind of leave it on this note. Once again, if you have anybody or you know anybody or you yourself make videos for Kerbal Space Program and you want to be featured, uh, please leave me a message. Uh, I, I don't really handle so well with comments. Not that uh, the comments, uh, you shouldn't leave it there. Um, if you're not looking to be featured directly, Leave it as a comment, but if you're looking to be featured directly, send me a message. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah. I will see you next time.